Beyond school and college settings, students are using accessible instructional materials at home. So how's school today? Good. Good. Why don't you go through your planner and tell me what you did today? If they need the materials at home in order to do their homework and study, then they need to be provided for them. So it should be included in their IEPs and should be provided so the students can do the same work at home that the other students are doing. Diana Carl is a former special education director and lead for the Texas Assistive Technology Network. She says students need access to their educational materials at home in order for them to make progress with their schoolwork. There are a number of challenges in providing that aim in the home setting because each of the students has different needs and there are several different formats of the specialized uh, material and they are all delivered using different types of assistive technology. So it, it has to be determined carefully what each student needs in order to do what particular tasks that they have to do. And they might need several different kinds of uh, specialized formats. For example, a student that uses Braille uh, may use Braille for certain subjects. Uh, they may listen to audio books at another time, and they may also use large print. So they have to carefully consider what, what each student needs and what equipment would be needed to deliver those materials at home. Diana says that parents may need support to help their children with accessible instructional materials. That's one of the services that's provided through assistive technology services to help the parents learn how to use the technology as well as the students need training on how to use the technology. The ideal is for the students to know how to do it all and be independent with the technology that's used. Erin, who attends the Minnesota State Academy for the Blind in Faribault, Minnesota, lives on campus during the week. Aaron basically mainstreams pretty much the whole morning. He arrives back here at MSAB just shortly before lunch. Search for... He'll have the afternoon and the evening in the dorm to go ahead and follow up with that and practice and research what we have gone through. On the weekends, Aaron travels back to his hometown to live with his family. Providing they have a computer at home, and they have high-speed internet, and if they have this green technology that we have here, which is available, of course, they should be able to do pretty much anything that they can do here. And there we have some quick tips for getting started and moving forward with accessible instructional materials. To learn more, be sure to check the AIM DVD, Aiming for Achievement, providing accessible instructional materials and other resources on the AIM website at aim.cast.org.